Since we got our hands on the Pixelbook Go back in October of last year, it has easily been one of my, if not my absolute favorite Chromebook ever. I love the Spartan approach and the way that they've gone about just getting the utilitarian parts of a Chromebook experience perfect, basically. And I've not been shy in sharing that with people. And a lot of people that have tried out this device, both people I know in person and people online, have loved it. And so, of course, the question has come up over time since the 4K model of this device has shown up whether or not it's worth upgrading to that one. It's got more RAM and it's got more internal storage and more importantly, it's got a 4K screen, but it also has a really high price tag. So we went out and got one and I wanna answer that question for those of you who are curious. I'm not gonna bury the lead. Right off the top, I'm gonna to tell you the answer to the question of whether you should upgrade to the 4K model of this device is a pretty stern no. I mean, for most users, you just don't need what this Chromebook is offering when it's being offered in such a good package in the other cheaper models. Now, the handful of people that may be in that camp that would need this upgrade are the ones that need 256 gigs of storage for whatever reason you would need that for, and you love the Pixelbook Go. Like, you love the shape, you love the keyboard, you love the speakers, you love everything about it, you just need that extra storage. Well, this is the only model with that higher-end storage, so if that's an absolute need for you, an absolute necessity for you, and you want to stick with a Pixelbook Go, then yeah, that small group of people yeah, I, I suppose it's kind of worth the upgrade to get that extra storage. The other group would be the group that says, I must have a 4K display. And I don't know that there's that many people in a 13.3 inch form factor that need a 4K display. Because here's what happens with this device. When we bump it up to 4K, yes, the pixel density is sharper, but at a normal viewing distance, it's kind of difficult to tell the difference between 4K and 1080p. And so that just raises the question, why exactly do you want 4K? Now, if you lean into your Chromebook a lot and you really want to get close and pixel peep or you want to watch 4K content or I don't know, there's going to be a handful of people that are like, no, I want 4K, I need 4K. Cool, th this is the only option. For the majority of you out there though, I'm telling you if 4K and 256 gigs of internal storage aren't absolute necessities for you, you need to listen to what I have to say. When it comes down to it, there's just not enough different or better in the 4K version of the Pixelbook Go to justify $1,400. If we set them next to each other, and you'll see it in the clips, the black one is the Core i5, the pink one we went out and bought just so it would look different. We could kind of get some hands-on time outside of the Google event with the pink version of this device. They're so similar across the board. Speakers, keyboard, trackpad, build quality, hinge, all that kind of stuff, that's all the same between the two. There's literally no difference. It just comes down to the screen and internal storage. And again, we talked about internal storage, so if you're in that camp, there's, there's no other option for you if you have to have a Pixelbook. But I would argue that the 4K screen is not enough of an upgrade to justify this price. It's not that much brighter. At normal operating distance, you can't barely tell that one's 4K and one's 1080p. And the performance of the i7 is kind of undercut by pushing around all those pixels. So there's just not that much benefit in a 4K screen crammed into a 13.3 inch form factor. It'd be different if it was crazy bright or if the refresh rate was higher or there was some other superlative to that 4K screen, but there just isn't. It, it looks okay and it, it behaves okay and it performs okay. But at the end of the day, when I'm using them side by side, I felt like I got nothing extra out of that screen versus the 1080p version. So keeping in mind that they perform basically the same, and if we push again the aside the fact that you can't get a 256 gig version in the Core i5, these things feel like kind of the same device. And when I put them next to each other and think, we paid 850 for the Core i5 version, and this one's $1,400, there's simply no way that the vast, vast majority of you are gonna find that kind of benefit in the 4K model of the Pixelbook Go. So I can't say that you should buy it. Again, if you've heard this and thought, well, I'm that guy, I need 4K, I need 256 gigs of internal storage, and I love the Pixelbook Go. Those handful of people, sure, I still don't know that it's gonna benefit you as much as you think it's going to, but for almost everyone else, just skip this thing. It is not worth your money, it's not worth your time. You're gonna be way, way happier with one of the Core i5 versions, and I think a lot of you, as I've said before, will be just as happy with a Core M3 version that cost only $650. But guys, that's been it for this one. If you like this video, 
give it a thumbs up, go down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. And don't forget to hit the join button as well if you'd like to see all the cool stuff our members get like behind the scenes footage and custom emoji. Until next time, we'll see you.